welcome to Go Go Kitties and today I am going to be touring you around my pink house. I've taken inspiration from Leah Ash, she's a really successful YouTuber and I liked her idea of the pink house so I decided to make my own. Hers is a pink castle, mine is more like a pink mansion. But I hope you enjoyed this video. So first of all to get there there's a chair glitch, you just gotta sit on this chair like this. Then you can go up here through the steps and this will lead you to my house. Okay, I'll show you it in three, two, one. Ta-da! This is my giant pink mansion. So, first of all, you have a few fountains over here where you can just like look at. It's really good decoration. Next, you have a places where you can sit. And then to the right over here, we have a camping place where you can go camping and like hang out with your friends. Next, if we go inside, the first level is a party level. So, oops, if we just go down here to the bar, there's like a pizza bar where you can make lots and lots of pizza. So just sit here and then like, oops, gotta get the dough first. And then you can just sit and I make my favorite, I can make my favorite pizza, which is raw pizza dough and peppers, just joking. Then over here we have a cinema, then we have a piano to play the piano, you know. And then we have a pet area over here. And then you know how sometimes you private chat people like ABC for a turtle or something? Here's a cool box. When you're private chatting, just go in here and people will know that you're like private chatting. So they'll leave you alone and give you some time to like talk, I guess. Next over here, we have some seating areas. If you like want to just chill, hang out, talk about life. Then here is the karaoke and fashion room where we have some contestant seats over here so the contestants can sit and the judge seat up here where you can look down in this whole stage with the disco floor and then the podium and then we have the changing rooms over here and then there's like lots of little different cells where you can go into each other the same size and you can't be seen so it's all going to be fair next Let's go out. Oops. Oh, 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you can just see how many I have just to like make sure that everyone has a room to change in. Next, if we go up to the second floor, which is basically my bedroom. So when I made this, it's more like a huge bedroom with like a study and a bathroom. So sort of like an ensuite. So it has a walk-in wardrobe, first of all, and mirrors to look at yourself in. Then over here, we have a nice sitting place and a circular fireplace. Then here, we have a huge bed. So this is for the parents to sleep. And then here is for the pets to sleep. Or you can sleep. Then you can just sit here. So I really like this bed. It's like one of those big fancy beds that you always see in castles and stuff. Next, over here, we have this little like sky viewing place. So if you pet the pet balls for your pets, and then a nice view of the outside. Oops, I'm stuck. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Mensa, are you okay? Oh gosh. Oh my. Uh oh. I, I never knew there was a glitch there. Okay. I am just going to have to walk through here. Okay. So then we have my study. So I can just like read next to the fireplace and stuff right over here. So. It's so like a bean bag, some fireplaces, a study table, and a rug. Now over here we have my ensuite with two spas, yes, two spas. And then we have over here a sink, some baths, a shower, a vanity station, and a toilet, of course. Now if we go into my potion room, yes, a potion room, you can see that you can just sit here and then behold my potion room i basically used mirrors all around over here as you can see and it's really cool because when it's night time the mirrors turn dark and then here i have all my potions and i can mask through potions when i want to it actually saves money in the end if you're a regular potion user i'm not really but i just wanted them there to complete my house so Next, we can go to the nursery. But you didn't see that. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh, I keep on getting stuck there. Okay, so here 
is our nursery. So first of all, we have the pet room with all your pet needs. Then in here, we have a nice balcony where you can look outside and totally not notice the half piano that is sticking out here. <laughs> and then in here, we have our nursery. So we have a piano, like one of those mini pianos because there was enough space. Then we have some donuts and pizza, some places to sleep, a toy box, and then we have some math. So yeah, then if we go up here, we just write mentos for faster walking. We can go up here to my third and final level, which is the common rooms. Well, like living room, but basically like a huge living room and a kitchen. So over here we have our living room. It's pretty small, but I like small living rooms because they're much cozier and it feels like much more like together, if you know what I mean. We have a poster wall over here and a TV and a lamp. A cute doggy lamp that we can turn on and off. Then in here, I decided that was my kitchen. I sort of ran out of space when I was building it. And then I was like, where am I going to put all the foods and stuff? Then I thought, why don't I make a shop? So I called this the Coco Mart and it has all the foods that you can buy. And then it's got a microwave pizza place, so you can microwave pizzas and donuts and tea. Yeah. Then in here we have the kitchen, which has a like nice bar to eat. And then we have a nice place where you can like do stuff. And there's a trash can over there. And then there's a sink, some tea, some knife blocks, a shelf, a random thing here over there. Then here we have a serving table. Like if you want to take away and you're role playing, I guess, then you can just put food up on this counter like I did with the donuts. Yeah. By the way, just saying again, if you want to use any of my ideas, you're free to as long as you give me credit. Then next, if we go into here, we have a mini bathroom. So it has a bath with steam. I used fog machines for that. Then in here we have a nice huge shower, as you can see. Then we have some seats. You can dry your hair there. A vanity place and a sink again and then you have some seats where you can like put your like I guess pet or you can sit there then in here we have the arcade so we have a grabber machine over here and then those are like the things that you move like <laughs> and down those never work that was really annoying and then over here we have the bowling alley where you can just like throw and then they'll knock over well they should but they actually don't then we have, I forgot that game, I think it's called Pool, where you can like move the balls around and you gotta try to get them through the holes. Next we have this sort of like mini arcade. You can turn it on and off like that. Then we have these bigger arcade games and they're made out of some wardrobes, a TV, a dressing table and some cups. So yeah, then in here, our final room, we have a tropical room. So it's like, I used windows and the thing is, if I used an orange, it wouldn't get the same color. I had to use brown. So it like, the windows are really bright. So I had to turn down the colors. Then we have a nice throne to sit on and look over your tiny tropical realm. Then we have a waterfall over here just to add to it. And then we have a nice swing that you can sleep on. And then uh, we have a water bowl and a food bowl. And then if we go up here, we have a nice hammock, which you can lie down and rest on. But only parents can use that. Sorry, kids, but you do have your swing. So yeah, that's my whole pink mansion inspiration from Leah Ash. So I hope that you guys liked it. And remember, if you want to use any of my ideas, you're free to, as long as you give me credit. And let's just go down here and see my potion room when it's dark. It's going to look so cool. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cool. Yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you check out my channel and like and subscribe. Bye, see ya.